Four years ago, Chilean director Sebastian Lelio's Gloria, a film about a woman in her 50s seeking a meaningful sexual relationship, proved a powerfully dramatic experience for those lucky enough to track it down. Lelio is currently directing an English-language version of the film with Julianne Moore as Gloria. But in between the two Glorias, he made A Fantastic Woman, which won the Best Screenplay Award in Berlin last year and which is one of the five finalists for the Best Foreign Language Oscar. As the title makes clear, this is another portrait of a woman and again, it's a very powerful and moving experience. Marina, Daniela Vega, is transgender and for once the actress playing the character is in reality also transgender. She's currently involved in a close and intimate relationship with Orlando Francisco Reyes, a 57-year-old businessman, and is living with him in his apartment in downtown Santiago. After a birthday dinner in a Chinese restaurant, the pair go home to bed, but in the middle of the night, Orlando awakens feeling ill. While Marina's attempting to summon the lift, he falls down a flight of stairs. In hospital, he's pronounced dead. The film explores the ways in which this fantastic woman deals with the death of her lover and the reactions of members of the dead man's family. Under the best of circumstances, it wouldn't be surprising for long-held bitterness and anger to boil over at a time like this, but matters are exacerbated by Marina's sexual status. Orlando's ex-wife Sonia, Aline Kupperheim, is fiercely angry. She demands the return of Orlando's car and also orders Marina to vacate the apartment. Pero no se te ocurre ir. Yo también tengo derecho a despedirlo. Mira, el problema ahora es mío. Tú ya viviste el mal rato. Ahora toda la parte trámite me toca a mí. Y de hecho yo te quiero compensar por todo lo que has hecho. De verdad, para que estés tranquila, no necesitas ya ir a ninguna parte ni hacer nada más. Y lo vamos a arreglar de una manera... More than that, she reports her to the Sexual Offences Unit of the police, and Marina finds herself being investigated by Adriana Amparo Noguera, an openly hostile policewoman who makes humiliating demands on the suspect, including having her photographed naked. While coping with these invasions into her personal life and finding that her access to both the wake and the funeral of her dead lover are barred, Marina attempts to move on. In an early scene, we see her singing in a nightclub, but she has greater ambitions than that. Lelio is a fine director, and he handles this tragic story with tenderness and insight, and also with a firm control over the film's superb visuals. But the lasting impression is that of Daniel Vega's performance as Marina. Her sensitive, expressive face, often seen in close-up, speaks volumes about the character, her past, and her difficult present. The title of the film certainly applies to its star. I'm giving this four stars. Mm -hmm.